occupied Palestine. Friday morning, quiet demonstration against the occupation. I see the whole so, uh, junction which says with the picture revenge 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 and these two guys by the way that were killed were on their way to set up a new illegal settlement traffic uh, on the road. I don't know why Danny was a bit of taking in the command. Okay guys, in the last week, at least 15 Palestinians have been killed, 14 by the hands of the Israeli occupation force and one by Zionist settler shipments. Bringing the total of Palestinians killed over 170. I have 176. I might be incorrect with one or two. But that's where we are right now, June 23rd, 23. Over 170 Palestinians have been killed by Israel this year alone. Just to get a bit of a picture, 2022 was horrible. With 202 Palestinians killed, we're almost there. Three Palestinians died by a drone attack. Really, such an equal fight. Two were killed. Two Palestinians were killed after a shooting at uh, uh, Ailey here down the road. One Palestinian that died this week was wounded May 2022. 20, uh, Father of six was shot in the head. He died of his wounds earlier this uh, this week. Two bodies have been returned. One that was being held by Israel since uh, September 2020. September 2022. Yeah. They claimed at that point that there was a uh, trying a knife attack. The knife was never found, and his so-called partner was released afterwards with no uh, conditions whatsoever. Only today, nine months later, not today, this week, nine months later, his body was returned. Now, when these bodies uh, are returned, the families are being heavily restricted, heavily restricted by With the funerals, like not more than 25 uh, and only family members. So, uh, with the funeral, Israel blocked the entrance, of course, again to the cemetery. 
because we can. So far, over 400 bil buildings have been demolished, leaving over 650 Palestinians without a home. 2023. Last week. Now, last night, several raids took place, brutal raids. I read this morning. So I can easily, this, you know, until last night it was over 70 Palestinians arrested. At least 10 minors, 10 Palestinian kids were arrested in the last week. But over 40 raids. A raid means in, they come in in the middle of the night between 2 and 5. They love to do that. Kick in your door, reorganize your house, might arrest, lots of gas. And that's just general fear, creating fear. One 13 year old Palestinian kid was arrested in Araba while he was filming the raid of the Israeli occupation force. A 13 year old, year old Palestinian kid was arrested while filming what the Israeli occupation force was doing. Twenty seriously wounded by live ammunition and rubber bullets. A 12-year-old was shot in the back Another minor was shot in the head. Another was shot with in the face and the chest. Okay, Israeli occupation force action. Some of the highlights of this horrible week. Let's start with Janine. Monday, Israeli occupation force entered Janine for 10 hours. They raided the city. In the end, it took a while, but there are more will come. Seven Palestinians were killed during this raid. Two 15-year-olds. Two 15-year-olds were shot with live ammunition. One girl was sitting in a garden, or was in a garden, filming what was happening. She was shot. Live ammunition, stun grenades, tear gas, over 90 Palestinians wounded. 90, seriously, over 20 at least, in serious condition. Four ambulances were targeted. Palestinian journalists were under fire. 120 military cars were deployed. Helicopters were used. Snipers on the roofs. Journalist was shot in the stomach. This is Area A under Palestinian Authority control. Israel has nothing to do there. I don't know the amount of people. I think it's something like a hundred. I don't know. I don't know what but a ridiculous amount of people have been killed by the Israeli occupation force in Geneva. So, over 90 wounded, 23 in serious condition, 7 killed. On Tuesday, a Palestinian uh, here down the road, Road 60, uh, shoot Zionist settlers, four died, four, four wounded. Two of the people that died were on their way uh, of uh, setting up a new illegal outpost. I will get into Ailey later on. Helicopters were used in Janine to bomb houses and drones were used to kill an additional three Palestinians that were driving in a car. 
So now the two Palestinians that shot the four Israelis on Tuesday, their houses have been blown up already. So their families are without a roof over their head. Immediately Israel was able to blow up their houses. Now Eli, that's a uh, illegal settlement which was built in 1984 on then stolen land that Israel claimed as state land. Violent, violent fundamentalists are living there. Five to six outposts are built around it. They're all illegal. And they are all of them on the land and blocking and uh, around Alavan i Sharkia. Yeah. No doubt I say this is correct. Singer, Isawaya, Kriot, Tunisaya. All these villages, Sheila, put themselves in the middle. Now, when there is uh, an illegal outpost, you need a road. So, you know, there's this road. When you have a road, you need a gas station. So they build an illegal gas station. Build more roads. And all, of course, for Jews only. Now, after the four Palestinians were killed, uh, the four, uh, not the four Palestinians, the four Zionist settlers were killed by uh, the Palestinians. Zionist settlers decided to go on a total free rampage in occupied Palestine with the Israeli army standing by and doing fucking nothing deciding let it burn and let them die over 30 pogroms has been taking place and I read last night that over 310 attacks on just Thursday against Palestinians and their properties have taken place. 17 villages were attacked and over 160 cars. And I don't know the amount of homes that were attacked, tried to burn, vandalized. So, here we go. This is the settlers. Afterwards, we'll do the Israeli occupation force. First, the settlers. Roaming free. Israel uh, uh, occupied Palestine, where Israeli occupation force, uh, there are thousands, thousands of soldiers employed. They are able to arrest and harass and I don't know what, but the Palestinians. But Zionist settlers, for some reason, well, we do know the reason, they don't want to stop them. So in Luban al Garbi, cars were torched, shops were vandalized, Palestinians were attacked. Hawara, cars were torched, land was set on fire, stones thrown at Palestinians, uh, Palestinian journalists, Palestinians of course, an ambulance caught fire after it was shot at with tear gas by the Israeli occupation uh, force. Uh, firing of live ammunition by settlers. Kafar al -Dik. Houses were attacked. Twice. They, in several separate attacks. They came back. They came one day, attacked houses. Second day, attacked houses. Blocked entrances. Uh, attacked cars. Turmuzaya. Houses were burned. Kids were inside. Kids and people were inside this Hawara all over, but then times 30, 30 different places. Over 30 houses were burned, 60 cars, fields were, were put on fire, and one Palestinian was killed by life ammunition of a settler, of a Zionist shithead killed a Palestinian. Is he being arrested? No. Is, our, is the army closing down on Eli, where these people are coming from? No. Nothing. Are they doing house searches in the middle of the night, a raid on Eli to arrest the hundreds of settlers that came down and attacked these villages? No. 
not in LA, not in Yitzhak, not in any of these motherfucker places. Zero. Three, three Israelis has been arrested so far of the hundreds, hundreds of Zionist shitheads that came down their fucking mountains and attacked Palestinians, their houses and their cars. Sebastian, houses were attacked. They went inside the houses, totally turned the house upside down. Trees were cut, cut down. Fully engulfed in flames. Shinju, firing of live ammunition. Palestinian properties on fire. Uriz. They attacked the school. They attacked the mosque. They burned down uh, uh, the Quran. Houses were on fire. Attacked by Palestinians. Six were wounded. One with with his skull. The other one with a broken leg. Settlers. 200 settlers, 200 settlers in Orif for three hours. They had M16s. They came from Sheila and the outpost Halabin, outpost Halabin, 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 after an hour and a half, an hour and a half. I knew I could have arrived earlier coming from my home. An hour, they are five minutes away. It took the Israeli occupation force an hour and a half before they arrived in Orif and then stood by and did nothing. They let it happen for another hour and a half. A hundred and five Palestinians were wounded, eight by live ammunition, including live ammunition from settlers. Who the fuck? gives them guns. Israeli occupation force claimed they didn't know. They didn't know. Like they didn't know Hawara. But you know what? We just let 500 settlers walk down Hawara and you know, it will be all a okay They could have been stopped. They stopped me. When I wanted to go to Hawara that night, I wasn't allowed in. Settlers were allowed in. Everybody knew. <laughs> Aviatar, of course, on Tuesday night, hundreds of Zionist settlers went up to Aviatar and since then are still there with the approval of Bibi and the other ministers, of course. A new outpost, a new illegal outpost has been set up between Eli and Male Levona. Six caravans, new roads, all in one night. In Uriv, settlers cut down the electricity of the city, I don't, of the village. I'm not sure up until now if they have their electricity back. Nobody cares. They are very proud of it. This is what they want to do now. Cut down the electricity of all villages cut down their, their little of water system that they have. Just, you know, Hebron. Weekly closure of the market in the old city so that Zionist settlers can have their march and uh, shout racist slurs at Palestinians. Yes, so settlers killed a dog and they stole 10 sheep. Two days later, they returned to attack the cars at the entrance of the village. Same at Burka, Burin, houses and cars were attacked. Birin, Palestinians were attacked. Bruchin, cars were attacked, houses were attacked. I already said Birin earlier. No, that was Burin. Yeah. Birin, I don't know. Palestinians were attacked. Here again, this was Bruchin. A car was attacked. Well, a family was inside. Kiryat Arba. 
close up roads cars were attacked in uh, I think this is in uh, Uriv where a totally 15 cars totally burned 65 cars were damaged and crops burned Yalut Settlers shot and injured two miners in the head. Another arson attack also over there. Now, Palestinian officers working within the military liaison office, Lia Laila office, communicated about the attack. Uh, uh, before, based on social media messages, and again, the Israeli occupation force decided to do nothing. Masafa Yata, there was an attack. In Tuba, attacking Palestinians, breaking windows, Palestinians were arrested. There is the whole demonstration in the north with the Syrians, with the Druze. I don't know how many people were wounded there. Five were arrested. Well, we're on this one, Jonathan Polak had a hearing. He was uh, arrested in Beta earlier this year, in January. Since then, he has been under uh, house arrest. We had a hearing this week. Next hearing will be uh, July, as he requested to be held accountable in a military court in occupied Palestine. How he should, as he was arrested in occupied Palestine and not in 48 borders. Also, the settlers should go to a military court for trial for their crimes here. So it's a principal thing. So I don't know what the next hearing will be, if they will agree that the next hearing should be in a military court in uh, occupied Palestine, or if they keep him where he is regarding his trial. Walid Daka, 37 years in jail right now, uh, is suffering from a very rare bone marrow cancer in his spine. He was supposed to be released earlier this year, but in 2018, he got another two years. <coughs> uh, last year, he was diagnosed with cancer, and uh, his family is uh, pushing pressure on Israel to release Walid on human humanitarian grounds. It's a bit, you know, like an oxymoron. Israel and humanitarian, I'm sorry to say, but as far as Palestinians is concerned, they're not being seen as people. Because if they are being seen as people, then you really should wonder what the fuck we are doing to these people. But Walid, even after fucking 37 years in jail, that's not enough for Israel. They don't want to release him. They want him to die slowly in jail. And the way it's going right now, it won't take very long. Two thirds of his right lung was uh, taken uh, out. He can barely walk, he can barely talk. But no, just God forbid that he would spend the last few bits, let's go a bit closer, with his family and you know, maybe with some pain treatment. Now, the last time I spoke to the family, which was last Saturday, was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah well, he is getting medica med medication for his heart and whatever, but he already for a few days at that point did not get his pain medication for the cancer in his spine. Cancer in your spine is a nasty thing. So tomorrow at uh, 6, 
there's going to be another demonstration uh, in uh, Baka al Jarabia, where he's from. So we had a hearing this week, a special committee regarding his humanitarian release. Uh, but the committee decided to postpone, of course, the hearing. Again, he should die slowly in jail. So we're on top of that. But also what I understood from the family, no matter what the decision is going to be, if they're going to decide to release him, the family, the Israeli family will, you know, file a, a case against him, his release. And if he's not being released, then, you know, it will go to the higher court in the end, probably. So that is uh, Walid, still in prison. Very, very sick. And then, of course, we have the Sublaban family, family who are living in the Muslim borders in uh, the old city in uh, Jerusalem. Occupied Palestine. They uh, were originally, this is a very long story, but uh, they moved in and 40s because they were kicked out of their house in uh, Jerusalem by Israel. They rented the house from the Jordanian apostrophe. 67, the Ap Jordanian apostrophe moved hence to Israel apostrophe, which moved hence to an organization. And of course, since then, for the last 47 years, that organization is trying to kick out Nora and her husband from our house. They've been fighting every decision. The last one was that their house, they will be evicted starting on June 11. They heard uh, this week, I think on Tuesday, there was a mistake with the original uh, order or whatever, and now it has been postponed to starting June 28 till July 11. I don't think it was, oh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, next Wednesday, uh, I have no words for what they are experiencing. Now, one of the most ridiculous story with this family is that they're living in this old, beautiful building. They are the last Palestinian family left. The rest has been taken over. Uh, already by Zionist settlers. Again, Zionist settlers in the Muslim quarter in occupied East Jerusalem. We have nothing. Settlers have nothing to do there. But, you know, they're working hard to cleanse, you know, the old city from every Pal Palestinian out there. So at a certain point, the Sublavan family wanted to have air conditioning and uh, now they were not allowed because, you know, the unit would, you know, damage the historic look of the building. Now, nine families are living there, settler families. They are allowed to have an air conditioning. Just Nora is not allowed to have an air conditioning. Now, in 2016, it was decided she could live there with her husband, but without her kids. The kids couldn't live there for, you know, whatever ridiculous reasons because they had, you know, like, whatever in other places. So the kids had to move out. They're not allowed to renovate. They're not allowed to do anything. Just suffer. They were supposed to uh, 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 be allowed to live there to 2026. You know, they didn't die. Well, that didn't happen. And then in 2018, uh, Nora got hernia in her back, lower back and in her neck. She had to leave the house for treatment. The Zionist settlers used that with cameras on her door, pointed at her door to claim to the court that she doesn't live there. So she be kicked out. Uh, the court agreed. No. For that purpose, for the purpose of kicking her out of the house, the family doesn't live there. They do not, you know, have the right to live there. Regarding social security, they also took, you know, like, uh, took their... Uh, 
insurance, health insurance away, etc. Family took also Betul uh, Lumi to court uh, regarding Betul Lumi. Lumi. There are, you know, Israeli uh, residents. They are not citizens. They are residents, so you can be kicked out anytime. And um, ah, ah, I'm not done yet. <coughs> 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 okay. Well, guys, the Sheikh Jarrah will talk about Israeli occupation force and their ridiculous actions this week. I'm sorry I spoke so much. Forever listened. Quiet, Satara, looking the occupation in the eye, guys. Looking the occupation in the eye. Over 310 attacks last night by Zionist settlers. Uh, just not last night. The full Thursday, 24 hours. Uh, Zionist settlers on Palestinians and their properties. 310. Three settlers have been arrested. Of the 310 attacks of the hundreds and hundreds of settlers that came down the mountain to uh, burn houses and burn Palestinians, three have been arrested. This is exactly what Israel wants. Let it burn. Four o'clock, Sheikh Jarrah will be there. And what we do till then, that will be a surprise. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, because maybe Zarka will be listening. You never know. So, hundreds of settlers right now over these mountains are in Aviatar, illegal settlement. They went up there any, anyway with approval from the government. Two additional illegal outposts that I am aware of in this area has been set up in the last week and definitely too in the Jordan Valley. Israel is trying to kill and cleanse occupied Palestine from every Palestinian. Okay. She to join us to uh, hold on, we're going to uh, stop this live. Yana, bye Yush. Can I stop this live? I hope that uh, you enjoyed it this time. It was a pleasure, wonderful weather. I don't have any complaints, you know? Any complaints. Everything is okay. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And with that, we're going to end this.